Oh yeah, yeah I guess this is the first podcast uh, since I got married. So yeah, congrats. I'm 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 a married man now. Oh yeah, that. silver. Yeah, 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 Classic. silver. Very nice. Yeah. So I guess I guess now I can ask what what, what was okay. So ex- I mean, I remember before the marriage, you were just like, oh yeah, you know, it's it's gonna is it gonna be the Jujutsu Kaisen of marriages? It was is, okay. Is it gonna be mid? <laughs> is it gonna be mid? You know, how how, how was how was your guys' experiences with it? It was okay. Sherry <laughs> <laughs> can never say anything. You know, I, you know, I could have been in my ho- I could have been in my hotel room watching Jujutsu Kaisen, but you know, <laughs> had to come out. No, it was, no, it was fantastic. I mean, like, yeah, it was just. Uh, Cause I mean, this is what like my second or third like wedding I've been to. Yeah, is is this your first like mates wedding you guys have been to? This is my second mates. Wedding. It's my first, yeah, one. but it was yeah. very different to my first mates wedding. Oh, because it was the Indian was wedding. The very, no, no, it was the it was the Japanese wedding. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, it was okay. a very traditional like you know fucking invite your boss and your colleagues level Japanese yeah, wedding. Yeah, right? yeah. So like actually, this I'd say this was the first time where it's like a proper like you know mates wedding yeah, type yeah. of thing. Um, I got really fucking close to crying watching you cry though. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I thought, cause like in my head, I was like, in my head, I was like, okay, this is a really fucking momentous occasion for God. Yeah. You know, obviously every wedding, very emotional, you know, yeah, like, yeah. really important day for a lot of people. Right. And so like, you know, I'm like, you know, I cried at my cousin's wedding, right? right. Because obviously like watching a family member cry is going to make you cry, right? Mm-hmm. But I didn't cry at my mate's wedding. Yeah. Right? Nothing against my mate. I just, yeah. I just did it. <laughs> you're not good enough. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's you're like, you're a mate, you don't deserve it, man. You're a mate, but you're not my boy. You know? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But like, so, but I was fully expecting that I was going to cry at some point in your wedding. Yeah. But I didn't know what was going to be the trigger. Yeah, right? yeah. And definitely, and, it, and the trigger came very quickly when you started crying. <laughs> because I don't know, because there's something about watching Gaunt cry that is like it's really like, fucking sad. It's like seeing your, your dad cry for the first time. Yeah, you know, like, exactly. Like, this just doesn't happen. It what doesn't happen. Fuck? It what never fuck? fucking happens. So when you see it yeah. in real life, it's just like, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> this is like, this is gonna make me cry. And yeah. like, I, I could tell that I wasn't the only one because literally fucking 70% of that room was crying at that moment as I was, well. That was right? like a sniffing convention for a while. That was, that was a sniffing convention <laughs> People have told me, man. Yeah, dude. And then, and then I cried and then I almost cried a second time when we, it, it was that clip where we hugged it out. Oh man. On the, on the dance floor. So many fucking wholesome moments from that yeah. wedding. I'm fucking glad, I'm fucking glad. I'm, yeah. I'm happy, I'm happy because I'm glad that everyone was, it was just like a happiness like fucking gathering, you know? Everyone yeah. was just like good vibes. Everyone yeah. was just yeah. happy. It was good vibes. And that was before everyone got like fucking hammered and fucking drunk, <laughs> man. Holy fucking Dude, shit. some people got blasted that. Malin, 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 right, all right. How many, <laughs> I remember Malin, so we had we had an open bar. Uh, <laughs> and I remember- so Best and worst decision ever. Best and worst decision of my life, because I remember going up to the bar to open the bar and you have to put like a tab down on the bar. And I remember asking, how much should I, you know, how much is like a reasonable number right. to, uh, to, to put the tab down? Uh, and the guy says like, you know, we've been doing weddings for years. We recommend this number. Great. And so I was like, great. Just in case I'm gonna put double of the amount so that I don't have to like get charged. Uh, <laughs> so you don't have to call me if, if it like breaks that limit. Yeah. So I'm like, great. And so how it works is that however much you don't spend, uh, they'll refund you. So about right. like a few days after the wedding, I give them an email to be like, oh great, can I get the refund please? How much was not on was not used on the tab? Yeah. And <laughs> I wait a few days because it was like bank holiday or something. And then I get an email Processing back. Processing all this fucking transaction. <laughs> yeah, and I get an email back and they're like, oh great, uh, we can refund you a grand total of one pound 40. <laughs> Legit one pound 40. One pound 40. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and I'm like, damn. damn. I'm, I'm like, I'm you not like even mad mat- anymore. I'm just impressed. You like meticulously calculated that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it was like double the recommended amount and you guys fucking destroyed that. And I, I'm, not, I'm not surprised because like, I've never seen so many fucking shots being taken out in, in like one night. I took like I'm I took around like seven shots of tequila that night. My God, Maylin was a fucking tequila fiend. Oh, My God, shit. if you had become if you went into like 
a five meter radius of mail in, you are getting dragged to do a, to do a shot of tequila. Yeah. I remember like this one time, I remember seeing mail in like ask Joey if she if you wanted the shot. Yeah. And you were like, no, mail no mail in, I hate shots. And she fucking gave you a fucking death grip yeah. and just dragged you to the bar and made you do a shot. She of literally grabbed me by my sleeve <laughs> yeah. and was just like, uh, 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 <laughs> no, it's not an answer. <laughs> and so I did that first shot and I was like, okay, so, okay, so the first shot was like, all right, you know what? It's, it's, <laughs> It's a wedding. There's yeah. like seven other people doing the show with me. Fuck yeah. it. You know, I yeah. hate tequila so much. Yeah. But I'll do it just because I don't want to- You're vibing. Yeah, it's I'm, good I wanna, vibes. I want to be part of the vibe, yeah. right? So I did it. It was fucking horrible. And then the second time around was when Maylene was like, no is not an answer. <laughs> and gra dragged me to the bar yeah. again with all the familiar faces. Like, oh, all the first time for you all. all right, yeah. <laughs> so I did the second shot, hated it. And then a couple of hours passed by and I'm like, okay. Maylene hasn't called me back yet. And so just when I thought I was in the clear, Maylene from a distance fucking scutters towards me. <laughs> and it's just like, tequila shot, Joey. <laughs> and I just had to go, fuck off. <laughs> I literally, I literally flipped a finger. I was just like, no, get away from me. And and I just walked off and Maylene was just like- Fucking oh. ran. Yeah, I literally ran from her. Cause yeah, it was the yeah. only, cause I thought, cause I knew if I wasn't like stern about it, yeah. she would grab me by the sleeve again. Yeah. Because I heard from a bunch of other people who were like way too nice to Maylene. Yeah, that yeah. they were like, yeah, she made me do like six shots. And I'm like, that's cause you have to say the hard no. <laughs> you had to say, it's not just the soft no, it's the hard no. Yeah. Predator, predator. Yeah, predator. Did she make you do any shots? I think so. I didn't really mind though, one's fine. Yeah. You only got to do one? I think Melee only, only made me do one. Why did she make me do like three? I guess cause you were just too close to her. Like vicinity wise. Yeah. Yeah, so I was really worried cause you know, we had food and I was mm -hmm. like, this isn't enough. It's not like three courses gone. Yeah. Really? Come yeah. on, I'm, I'm a six course kind of guy minimum. Or at least give me someone else's course who didn't finish. Right. It. Yeah. And then, and then, Lord behold, people just start bringing out pizza. Yeah. We 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 got, it, we got it was like all you could eat pizza. It go. It was like uh, all you can eat like stone baked pizza. Yeah. I, I think I had like four whole pizzas. <laughs> like it was. It was. An, it, I had. A, like, I had a worrying amount of pizza. That it was time. like it was more pizza than any doctor would ever recommend. Yeah. Yeah. Like <laughs> even if you were like carb loading for like a desert survival for like ten weeks, <laughs> you wouldn't eat any, this many calories. Yeah. Like, this was. I I don't know. Every time they brought it. To me, I was like, well, I can't say no. I mean, it's a different topping. I gotta try it. That, that was me with the espresso martinis. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I, I think I had like five espresso so martinis. We, that we day all... And I'm like, oh, that's why I'm shaking. Yeah. So we had a <laughs> station to uh, give out free espresso martinis to everyone. Wow. wow. Yeah. I mean, we wanted everyone to have a good time. Like, no, uh, no wonder that tab was <laughs> yeah. high. No, no, that I, wasn't even on the tab. Oh, my that God. Was, oh, yeah. That was like that a pre package oh. that we paid for. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I, remember, I remember I was like, I went up to the bar after like my first espresso martini that they brought out for mm -hmm. everyone, right? And yeah. I was like, oh, can I get another espresso martini? And the dude literally just points to the side because yeah, there's the literally thing. this like three layered shelf of espresso martinis. <laughs> there was like 12 espresso <laughs> martinis. And I was like, take your pick. Yeah, and I was like, yeah. oh They're shit, good. all right, good, cool. Yeah. Well, I'm, I, I just drank like three of them and I was just fucking shaking. Yeah. So I guess like to go to like the start of my experience of the wedding, mm. cause obviously you guys' experience was very, very different from mine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So like, <laughs> Um, so we had like about, I think it was only like 62 people at this wedding. So it's like a fairly small wedding, but like, right. I really, really liked the size of the wedding mm. cause it was a good amount of size. I could keep up with like pretty much- You could with interact like, with everyone. I could talk with everyone yeah. and not feel like it was just like a convention experience where I was having like one sentence conversations right, with people, right. but like have proper meaningful conversations, which is which is good. Cause mm. I just wanted to like, sh I just wanted to just like share the good vibes and everything like that. Yeah. Um, but I remember like the night before the wedding, I was so fucking, I, I, don't, know, I don't know what the right word to ex describe nervous it was. Too, yeah. it, it was like a mixture of like nervous and excited. Cause like yeah. it was, it was not like the bad kind of nervous. Like the way I described it was, it kind of felt like you were 10 years old and it was the day before Christmas. And like, you right. know, you knew, you knew you were getting that N64 for Christmas. Right, you, right. you knew that this was like the special Christmas, but you were getting the, the fucking game console. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. And so I, I did not get like, I got like two hours of sleep before my oh. wedding, before the day before my Damn, wedding. Cause I, I thought, I, cause I, I tried to go to sleep at a reasonable time. So I was gonna go to sleep at around 11. And like, I'm like, great. I'm gonna have a reasonable amount of sleep before my wedding can be well rested. And then like an hour passes, two hour passes. And I'm like, I cannot get to sleep. Okay, okay. If I go to sleep now, I'll get six hours of sleep now. 
Now. <laughs> An hour passes, all right. Five hours of sleep, now. That's how it always works. Now. And, works. and I was just like, if 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 I if I, if I just go to sleep now, I'll wake up and I'm gonna have a wife, you know? It's, it's gonna be break. And then it gets to about four or five in the morning. And I'm like, I'm, I'm like trying to, I'm like trying to like, I'm in pure copium right now. Cause I'm just like, what if I just, <laughs> Have no sleep before my wedding. I can, I, I can function, right? If I just if I just stay up all night, I can function, right? That's 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 something I can do before like one of the most important days of my life. I, yeah, I can do I that. So. But like I, I, before I like truly justify it to myself, I'm like, okay, let's just try something new. So I, I like I I take off all of my sheets and take off all my blankets and I put them on the floor. I'm like, let's let's try sleeping on the floor, on the hard <laughs> floor. And for some reason, I don't know if it's just like these like Asian jeans or something where it just felt like I was home again. And I just like immediately conked out. Oh my God. <laughs> like, I, yeah, I don't know, right? Like I, I was Were you reminded in, of your monk days, like sleeping on the table floor? I think pretty Probably. much, I don't know. It, was, it felt like I was sleeping on like a fucking futon or something. <laughs> I, I don't know what it was about sleeping on the floor, but I, like I just immediately conked out after like sleeping on or like a nice comfy bed or something. Um, and then, yeah, yeah like we, we go to the wedding, uh, the wedding venue. And of course it was, I was ner like tense, nervous. It was like the feeling of like, before you get in, you start a panel or you go on stage or something. Yeah. It's just like, you know, this big thing is coming up, but you just got to wait around yeah. for it to start. That's the worst. Yeah, it's, it's I, w I was, I was so, I was so fucking jittery. <laughs> and I know. Yeah, like, cause I talked to Sydney, if she mm. was nervous for the wedding and she was like, her nerves like ended the moment she woke up because she was like so busy yeah, like before the wedding started right. because she had to like go do her makeup, go do her hair and like all the bridesmaids as well. So she was at the the venue from like 9 a.m. Oh wow. And so I didn't I didn't need to get there till 12, <laughs> 12 uh, to 12 hell. noon. Yeah, You're the yeah. easy job. Yeah. And so like that, that was just like a lot of time for just me to like be alone with my own thoughts and be really, really fucking nervous. Um, <laughs> and, and so, yeah, I was, I was really tense, nervous, whatever. But luckily, luckily I had, I had my, I had my boys with me. I had my boys. The lads were there. The lads were there. My hype men, you know, were there, were there with me. Um, and I remember, I'm like, I, I remember, um, uh, going to the boys. Um, so you know, to, to, to fully explain, neither of these two were my, were my best men. Uh, it's, it's okay. So hard I'm sorry, I'm sorry guys. And uh, only Connor was a groomsman, but like part of the reason was like, it, it made me realize how long it's been since I've planned this wedding because yeah. we had, we like me and Cindy had planned the wedding basically like before we had moved to Japan. Yeah, and yeah, and crazy. like every like air, like every role or like the the entire wedding party was chosen and everything. Um, taste, yeah. yeah, and it was like it, it was like going the wedding was going to originally be before trash taste even started. Yeah. yeah so it's like fucking insane that like I've grown so much closer to these two in like these past two years where like when my wedding was planned, I like I, I knew Joey, but we, we'd hung out only like a few times, yeah. you know? And we'd hung out like a lot, but I was like not as close to you as I yeah, am no, now. Definitely. So so it was like, it was so weird to like, it was so weird to have a wedding that was planned two years ago, where like now the dynamic is like totally fucking different and everything yeah. like that. I was just that. in the crowd being like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, I remember like, we call everyone in to the main ceremony hall. Uh, so everyone starts getting their seats. Mm. And like, I call like, I'm like, I go out, I go out by myself. And I'm like, Garn, you got this. You got this. Garn, this is you're gonna you're gonna do a no tear wedding run. There's going to be zero <laughs> crying at this wedding. And like, I go out to myself just to give myself like a breather. And like, I'm like, okay, I, I bring out like we had me and Sydney had personal vows. So I bring out my personal vows, and I'm like rehearsing them in my head. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. Garn, you got this. This is you. zero tears. We're, we're not gonna cry at this yeah. wedding. You got this, you got this. I read like the first sentence and I like start like fucking like, <laughs> like my, my jaw, my jaw just starts going. <laughs> and, and I'm like, oh no, oh no, this is a bad sign. This is a bad sign. Yeah. And so while, while I'm like, while I'm, while I'm doing this, like all, all of my, all of my lads, all of my groomsmen come out and they see me and I'm like, Guys, I'm gonna need some hype around me. I'm, 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 I'm gonna need some fucking hype around me. Yeah. And so, like, this was a this was a moment where I took a page out of Connor's book. I'm like, <laughs> I literally go full monkey mode That's right like, outside works. the ceremony room. It works, dude. It works. And I was like, I was like, ah, you fucking got this. 
this. You fucking got this. Not realizing that everyone in the set, could you hear me? Like just fucking shouting by I, the way. I, I heard you shouting at something, but I don't, I, I wasn't too sure. I was like, well, that's God, right? Like, people who fear the, the shouting type you are, but people who haven't tried it. If you, yeah. if you try yeah. it, it actually works. If yeah. you fully commit to it, yeah. it works. Yeah, I mean like that time it really fucking worked because I had so much adrenaline in my body yeah. that uh, that I needed some way to, uh, I, need, I needed some way to release it. Yeah. And so I remember getting to the ceremony room and I'm like, okay, it's good. The shouting helped. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm like reset on the shouting's help. Mm. Uh, I go to, I go to the front, I turn around, I look at my mom's face and just <laughs> immediately, <laughs> immediately, I'm just like, I, I'm, I'm a broken man again. <laughs> I was like, well, oh, just like my cousin told me this after the ceremony, yeah. but he's just like, if there's one thing you definitely should not do when you're standing up there waiting, is look at your mom. It's look at your mom. <laughs> it's look at your parents. And that's true. That's, that's, I, I can understand yeah. that. Yeah. Cause, oh, cause, oh, it's, it's a feeling I can't describe where, you know, my dad and my mom were like fucking tearing up and I rarely see them tear up. And it's right. just, it's just like, I, I don't know, like what did my face look like when I was waiting up there? I got, I got to know. Cause I, I, I can do a reenactment of right. exactly what you were like. You were like, <laughs> That's what you look like. You're like close, yeah, but pretty accurate. Yeah. It's just like every now and then you'd like turn and be like, oh yeah. <laughs> That's what you look like right before. 